Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video for a patron of mine called Edgar. So Edgar, this one is for you, my friend. Now this is about prepping SD cards if you're going to install HDX. Now I did a video, I'll put a link down below where I interviewed one of the HDX developers and as of 2.7, uh, it's pretty solid now. Lots of the things that I was disappointed that didn't work back in November are kind of fixed. So lots of people are moving onto it. But Edgar is a classic example of an OpenTX pilot that's coming onto EdgeTX and something is very different. And that's the way you get the SD stuff. Now in OpenTX land, you went to a particular address or you downloaded everything from Companion. The SD card had everything on there that you already needed, including sound files and everything else. However, it doesn't work that way with HTX. It doesn't automatically download the sound pack. Downloading the SD card files just gives you the basics. So while we're doing this, let's have a quick look at what you get on the SD card and the extra things I recommend that you do. Now, whenever you are upgrading a radio, loads of people have done videos on this. I would always recommend back up the SD card as it was before you changed anything. Keep a copy of it. Things like the models directory and other things can be migrated as you upgrade from OpenTX to EdgeTX. And this TX will try and bring those models across to use in the new operating system. But let's assume that you have got a new radio and you're about to go and download all the SD card goodness for TX. This is kind of the way to do it. So here on this page, which I'll put a link down below, you have the options to download the firmware directly, which is how I do it. I just download the firmware for my particular radio, stick it in the firmware's directory, restart the radio, go into the menus, find it and do it from there. Don't do any of that shenanigans. It's very simple and straightforward. It works very well. Again, whenever you're doing an update, I'd always recommend backing up your SD card and your models as well. So here we have a link to the SD card downloads. Here's the ones for 2.7. Uh, here's all the things that have changed. And there is the ones for the Horus. That's also going to work with the things like the Radio Master TX16S. That's the ones you want. The Nirvana Radio, Tyrannus QX7 and similar that have the smaller screens. And Tyrannus X9, the good old Tyrannus that I still use, believe it or not. Now I'm going to download the horus.zip file and that is going to download all of the pieces. Now if I actually look at that it's just going to be a zip file but if I zip it into a new directory it looks like this. So this is what you get from that file. So obviously you have the firmware directory. That is where if you're going to do things like flash receivers or updates, HTX, this is where I would put those firmwares and keep them safe. Images, there's nothing in here at all. OpenTX used to give you loads of images. There's nothing in HTX, so copy them over from your old SD card using the backup that you did. Log files is going to be where you have the log files saved. I've done loads of videos. There's loads of cool stuff that you can do with the log files. You can use it with Dashware and other stuff with things like um, Google Earth. And you can look at the trace if you've got GPS and altitude information. Next one then is screenshots. That's where screenshots are going to be held. You can set up a special function in the radio where when you click a button, it's going to take a screenshot of the screen. Very handy if you're flying and you don't want to look down for reference later on. You can just kind of save them and that's this is where they are saved. The scripts directory. Quite a bit in here. Lots of uh, scripts for different things. Most of them are in the last two directories. So you've got things like a model locator, and whenever there's a readme, it's always worthwhile having a quick look at that. Let me drag this one across, let's see what this says. So just telling us this is where everything's gonna go into, that's fine. And then we've also got the wizards, there's a couple of in here. So there's one for glider, one for multi-rotor, and one for plane. The images for all of those to set them up are behind it, so that's what's in the scripts directory. Next one then is the sounds directory and we're coming back to that because the sounds directory like the image directory is empty so we need to sort that out. Templates it has uh, things about for personal, for saw, so this for example is a collection of cell plane templates with the Lua widgets for timing, scorekeeping, graphing of log data and model config. Great to see this kind of stuff appearing in HTX. Lots of pilots really want to play with things like planes, and it's great that they're starting to add this in. One of the big things that I'm excited about. 
And then you have others here for glider, multi-rotor, and other stuff as well. Now, last couple. These are the themes. So this is the way that the screen actually looks. Uh, you can pick that from the interface. And finally, you have the widgets. These are the stuff that you can put on your telemetry screen or on your main screen itself, so you can have everything. Now, by default, some of the things that you might be using might not be in here. So maybe if you're a Crossfire user, or those kind of things, you might end up downloading some of the widgets and some of the other scripts as well, because it might not be in here already. So double check if you're using any additional hardware that the scripts and everything are downloaded, you'll be able to get those from who produce the hardware. So if we just go back in here and we go back to where it said, you said sound packs download. So this is the latest voice pack and what we'll do is we'll open the assets. Now this is where I think Edgar was getting incredibly confused because it isn't obvious, there isn't kind of a nice uh, help file up here. So obviously Edge TX SD card sounds, uh, that's where we're going to put them. The next then is the actual language. So you have uh, German, English, uh, Spanish, French, <laughs> I had to really use my head then, try uh, Italian. But some of the ones, like the English sound packs, there's actually four. There's the basic one, which is like a robotic one, and then you have ones that's uh, Libby, Ryan, Guy, and Sarah, and you can download those, and those will sound slightly differently. There's no real way to kind of test them out. It would be nice if there was a little button so you could hear each of them. But to download them, all you have to do is, let's just download the default one, We'll click on that, it'll download it. If we then double click on there, then we have the sounds folder and English. What we'll do is we will copy that. We will go back to our SD card, go into the sounds directory and just paste it in. And there's the EN. And in EN, there is all of the standard stuff that you would expect. And then there's also the system folder, which has things like the numbers and the battery and other bits and pieces. So that's the way to do it. It looks really complicated because it's just a long list of sound files, but hopefully that helps how to do it. You just have to, at the moment with HTX, kind of build the SD card back up. Whereas in OpenTX, you download it and all that gubbins was in there. All of these different sound files and options. And you just had to delete the ones that you didn't want to save a bit of space. Hopefully, Edgar, that helps. If you have any other problems or questions, pop me a question. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.